My Grandmother's Love Letters by Hart Crane There are no stars tonight but those of memory. Yet how much room for memory there is in the loose girdle of soft rain. There is even room enough for the letters of my mother's mother, Elizabeth, that have been pressed so long into a corner of the roof that they are brown and soft and liable to melt as snow. Over the greatness of such space, steps must be gentle. It is all hung by an invisible white hair. It trembles as birch limbs webbing the air. And I ask myself, Are your fingers long enough to play old keys that are but echoes? Is the silence strong enough to carry back the music to its source and back to you again, as though to her? Yet I would lead my grandmother by the hand through much of what she would not understand, and so I stumble. And the rain continues on the roof with such a sound of gently pitying laughter. Fear by Hart Crane The host, he says, that all is well, and the fire would glow as bright. The food has a warm and tempting smell, but on the window licks the night. Pile on the logs, give me your hands, friends, no, it is not fright. But hold me, somewhere I heard demands, and on the window licks the night. Chaplinesque by Hart Crane We make our meek adjustments, contented with such random consolations, as the wind deposits in slithered and to ample pockets. For we can still love the world who find a famished kitten on the step and no recesses for it from the fury of the street or warm torn elbow coverts. We will sidestep and to the final smirk dally the doom of that inevitable thumb that slowly chafes its puckered index towards us facing the dull squint with what innocence and what surprise. And yet these fine collapses are not lies, more than the pirouettes of any pliant cane. Our obsequies are, in a way, no enterprise. We can evade you, and all else but the heart. What blame to us if the heart live on? The game enforces smirks. But we have seen the moon in lovely alleys make a grail of laughter of an empty ash can, and through all sound of gaiety and quest have heard a kitten in the wilderness. In Shadow by Hart Crane Out in the late amber afternoon, confused among chrysanthemums, her parasol, a pale balloon, like a waiting moon in shadow swims. Her furtive lace and misty hair over the garden dial distill the sunlight, then withdrawing where, again, the shadows at her will. Gently yet suddenly the sheen of stars enwraps her parasol. She hears my step behind the green, twilight stiller than shadows fall. Come, it is too late, too late, to risk alone the light's decline, nor has the evening long to wait, but her own words are nights and mine. <laughs>